Hey, what's up, guys? It's Toasted Toasty Tabletop Games, and today I've got some more Brothers War products. We've got 10 more sub booster packs and three collector's packs for afterwards. And uh, we're just going to jump straight into it. Y'all know the drill. If I could even open it, good lord. All right. <laughs> All righty, let's do this. So we've got our <clears throat> art card here. We've got a very nice hollow plains we got disenchant which i think is a great spell especially in standard coastal bulwark giant growth foul max vanguard involuntary cooldown defabricate slagstone refinery lauren disciple of history a jowlum tome got a i i read that a solemn simulacrum and i did, was like oh i didn't realize i reprinted it but no simian simulacrum so enters battlefield, you put two 1-1 one, one counters on target creature you control, and then it's got unearth. So it just puts counters down, which is cool. And then we've got a hollow Mishra uh, excavation prodigy and a construct token. Very nice. Lord almighty, it's giving me such a hard time to open these things. All right. Is our art card of Mishra, claimed by Gix. We got a swamp. We got our power plant worker, a mine worker, tower worker. Well, that's nice. That's the whole cycle right there. <laughs> it's the whole assembly worker cycle. Uh, Tomical honor guard, hero of the dunes, Thran vigil, meticulous excavation, a rune chanter's pike, where an equipped creature has first striking as plus X plus zero, where X is the number of instants and sorceries in your graveyard. Cool. Foundry inspector. Oh, I didn't realize it got reprinted in this set. Okay, cool. Then we got a Sky Strike Officer, where uh, whenever it attacks, it creates a 1-1 Cola Soldier Artifact Creature Token, and we can tap three untapped soldiers we control and draw a card. Then we got Recommission Hollow and Collector Oof reprint, which is actually kind of insane. Collector Oofs are really good. <laughs> That's a nice snag right there. Man, that's actually real, that's so good. I can't believe I reprinted that. Well, anyway, I can hang my hat on that. I'm pretty happy with that. There's a signed Urza art card. We've got a hollow island, scrapwork mutt, uh, scrapwork cohort, scrapwork rager, death charger, colossus, mask of the jade crafter, giant cinder maw, flow of knowledge, megatron. <laughs> Uh, so for th for three, uh, red, white, and black, these seven five uh, creature with opponents can't cast spells during combat, and at the beginning of your post combat main phase, you can convert Megatron, and if you do, you add one colorless mana for each one life your opponent's lost this turn. Cool, and then you can cast them converted for uh, for one uh, for one generic red, white, and black, and then on his other side, he's got Megatron, destructive force, and he is a creature. As long as it's your turn, and whenever he attacks, you can sacrifice another artifact, and if you do, he deals damage equal to the sacrificed artifact's mana value to a target creature. And if excess damage will be dealt to a creature that way, instead, that damage is dealt to that creature's controller, and you can convert Megatron again. Cool. Nice. You got self-assembler reprint, uh, soul partition, which I don't know if this is good or not, personally. I think, I think um, two mana removal is really good, but it they can also just cast it again for two mana, two mana more. But, you know, so it exiles target non land permanent, and as long as that card remains exiled, its opponent may play it, and a spell cast by opponent display costs two more to cast. We have a hollow, Yoshin, Dissident, and a uh, token, just a whatever token. All right, could use the pull tab on some of these because for whatever reason, these packs are sealed incredibly well today. All right, here's our art card. Hollow Forest. Got a Carrion Locust. Uh, Blanchwood Prowler. Rust Goliath. Dredging Claw. Gixian Skull Flare. Alloy Animus. Thran Power Suit. Audacity. An inspiring Sanctuary. So non-artifact creature, uh, non-artifact spells you have, ca uh, you cast have improvised, which is really cool. There's a lot of like, cool stuff in here. I didn't realize they reprinted. But you no, know, all really good reprints. So we got Mishra Cleaned by Gix, which is the first half of uh, of the meld for Mishra. Um, 
But yeah, whenever you attack, each opponent loses X life, and you gain X life, where X is the number of attacking creatures. If Mishra, claimed by Gex, and a creature named Phyrexian Dragon Engine are attacking, and you both own and control them, you exile them, and meld them into Mishra, lost to Phyrexia, and it's the battlefield tab and attacking. Pretty cool. Then we got a Hoarding Recluse Hollow, and a Power Stone token. All right. So our art card of the, I think it's the key to the city or something like that. So our mountain, retrieval agent, recommission, Tomacol scrapsmith, forging the anchor, calamity's wake, lay down arms, blanche wood armor, bushwhack, I think is a great uncommon, swiftfoot boots, stone brain. So for two, when we tap it, we exile the stone brain and choose a card name. We search a target opponent's uh, graveyard hand and library for up to four cards with that name and exile them. That player then shuffles and draws a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. And then uh, sorcery speed only. That's pretty cool. You can hate on an entire play set of a card, which is pretty funny. Uh, Whirling Strike Hollow. And we got a Scion of Draco uh, reprint from Double Masters 2. So it's got this spell costs two less to cast for each basic land type among lands you control. And then it's got flying, and each creature you control has vigilance if it's white, hexproof if it's blue, lifelink if it's black, first strike if it's red, and trample if it's green. Cool. Well, I'll set the reprint over here, since it's the reprint, after all. All right, halfway through our set booster packs. Whoops. There's our art card. Got a forest. Got Emergency Weld, Veterans Power Blade, Warlords Elite, Gix's Caress, Gruesome Realization, Levitating Statue, Monastery Swift Spear, which I think is really awesome to be in standard again, Obliterating Bolt, Springleaf Drum, Kayla's Command. So we choose two and create a 2 2 colorless construct artifact creature token. Put a 1 1 counter on a creature we control and it gains double strike till end of turn. Search our library for a planes, our basic planes, and reveal it and put it in our hand, and then, or gain two life and scry two. Okay, airlift, chaplain hollow, and curse of echoes. And enchant player, and whenever enchanted player casts an instant or sorcery spell, each other player may copy that spell and may choose new targets for the spell or for the copy he or she controls. That's pretty funny. Can you imagine like trying to cast a counter spell that way and then everybody else gets a counter spell? They choose to counter each other's counter spells. All right, there's our art card, planes. All right, conscripted infantry, supply drop, uh, combat courier, Nauru, uh, pallbearer, Yoshin frontliner, third path iconoclast, Falaji, uh, Vanguard, a Millstone, Ivory Tower, a Teething Wormlet. So it's got Death Touch as long as you control three or more artifacts. And whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under control, you gain one life. And if it's the first time this ability is resolved this turn, you put a 1 1 counter on it. This is like, this has the same energy as that, like, um, that pack puppy from the, like, in Astral, like from like Midnight Hunt or Crimson Val, whichever one it was. Um,. And I can see it being very good. And we've got a hollow blast zone. It's pretty nice. So it's gonna enter with a charge counter on it. We can tap to add colorless. Pay um, X twice and tap it to put X charge counters on blast zone. And we can pay three and tap it to sacrifice blast zone and destroy each non-land permanent with mana value equal to the number of charge counters on blast zone. Nice. It's a nice hollow too. And then we got an Aethopter token. All right. All right, there's our art card there. We've got a very nice swamp. Uh, Gaia's Gift, Moment of Defiance, Kill Zone Acrobat, Demolition Field, Fall of Krug, uh, Go for the Throat, Yoshin Tactician, Zephyr Sentinel, Quick Silver Amulet. That's pretty sick. Type of pay four, you can tap it to put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. You got Urza's command. So we're gonna choose two. Creatures you don't control get minus two, minus zero till end of combat, or end of turn. 
Create a tap power stone token, create a tap zero zero colorless construct token, or artifact creature token. With this creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control, or scry one and draw a card. We've got a hollow bitter reunion, and we've got death or glory. So we're going to separate all creature creature cards in your graveyard into two face up piles and remove the pile of an opponent's choice from the game and return the other to play. Pretty cool. Just mass resurrect stuff. I think that's pretty sick. Um, moving on, we've got two more set packs, and then we're going to get into the collector stuff, which I'm once again very excited for the collector stuff. So there's our art card of Gix. Got a Hollow Swamp, got a Yoshin Medic, Air Marshal, Whirling Strike, Obstinate Bailoth, Battlefield Butcher, Static Net, uh, Pyrrhic Blast, uh, the Brothers War from the Commander set. All right, so at chapter one, we're gonna create two tapped Power Stone tokens. Chapter two, we choose two target players and until your next turn, each creature they control attacks the other, chose a player, each combat if able, excuse me. Brothers War deals X damage to any target and X damage to any other target where X is the number of artifacts you control. Very cool. You got a Mishra's Bobble, uh, Liberator, Urza's Battlethopter. It's got Flash and Flying, and you may cast colorless spells and artifact spells as though they had Flash. And whenever you cast a spell, if the amount of mana spent to cast that was greater than uh, Liberator, Urza's Battlethopter power, you put a 1-1 counter on it. Pretty cool. Then we got a Latinom Adept Hollow and a Double-Sided Token. And our last set booster pack for today. Alright, so that looks like the Soul uh, Soul Guide Lantern art card. Got a Hollow Mountain, a Falaji Chain Dancer, Military Discipline, Perimeter Patrol, Sardian Cliff Stomper, uh, Suchi Cave Guard. Hulking Metamorph, Heavyweight Demolisher. Ooh, a full art Lanowar Wastes. Love that. Tap to add colorless, or we can tap it to deal uh, to add black or green, but it deals one damage to us. The Chromatic Star. So we can uh, pay one and sack it to add one mana of any color. And when it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield, we draw a card. Very nice. That's good. I think that could be very good limited. Got Drafna, founder of Latinom. So for one in blue, we can return an artifact uh, to we control to its owner's hand. Or we can pay three and tap them to copy an artifact spell we control. And we got Falaji Chain Dancer Hollow and a Power Stone token. And that's all of our set booster stuff. So moving on to uh, the collector stuff now. The most exciting part, probably. <laughs> all right. I just gotta get it so that way I don't hurt the cards as they come out. Just trying to get the top off. There we go. All right, here we go. So we've got. I'm not gonna mention if they're hollow or not. Maybe if they're full art, because everything's gonna be uh, hollow pretty much. So we have Bitter Reunion, Tower Worker, Mishra's Juggernaut, Takassia's Onulet, Battlefield Butcher, Gaia's Courser, Full Art Swamp, Fateful Handoff. You're going to draw cards equal to the mana value of target artifact or creature you control, and an opponent gains control of that permanent. Got uh, Queen Kayla Bean Krug. So we pay four and to discard all cards in our hand, then draw that many cards and choose an artifact or creature card with mana value one. You discard it this way, and then do the same for uh, mana values two and three and return those to the battlefield. Then we've got Wire Surgeons from the Commander section, or from the Commander set. It's got Fear, and then each art each artifact card in your graveyard has Encore. Got a Foundry Inspector Hollow, Springleaf Drum, Platinum Angel. So it's got Flying, and then you're, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. You got Soundwave, our Sonic Spy. I think, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't talk about this one last time. Okay, so. For uh, so for one, uh, and then Esper, we get five of four a creature that has whenever one or more creature tokens you control deal combat damage to a player, exile a target instant or sorcery card with mana value equal to the damage dealt from their graveyard. You copy it, and then you can, uh, oh excuse me, cast the copy without paying the mana cost, and then if we do, we convert him. 
So whenever you cast a spell with an odd mana value, you convert sound wave. And if you do, you create a uh, Ravage, a legendary 3-3 black robot artifact creature token with menace and death touch. And then whenever you cast a spell with an even mana value, you convert hit sound wave. But if you do, you create laser beak, a legendary 2-2 blue robot artifact creature token with flying and hex proof. Then we got a full art astronaut flesh, mecha uh, flesh mechanist, which I didn't realize she was a one drop. I think that's kind of insane. So she's a 1-1 one, one for 1 with Death Touch, and then whenever she attacks, you may sacrifice another creature, and if you do, you create a tapped Power Stone token. And for 5, you can exile a creature card from your graveyard and create a tapped 3-3 three, three colorless zombie artifact creature token. Then we've got a Power Stone and zombie double-sided token. Very nice. Moving on to our next pack here. All right. Speaking of which, I think I just found found one of those tokens. <laughs> so we got Sentinel Sound, uh, Sentinel Stalwart, Philogy Archaeologist, Wasteful Harvest, Ashnod's Intervention, Ev Evangel of Synthesis, Yoshin Frontliner, a Full Art Mountain, the Temporal Anchor. So the beginning of our upkeep, we're gonna scry two, and then whenever you choose to put one or more cards on the bottom of your library while scrying, you exile that many cards from the bottom of the library. And during your turn, you can play cards exiled with the Temporal Anchor. Got Transmogrant's Crown, which is like a worse uh, skull clamp, but it's in standard, which is kind of kind of sick. Equipped creature gets uh, plus two plus zero, and then whenever an equipped creature dies, you draw a card. And we can equip it for two or one black. Then we got uh, Geology uh, Enthusiast. So at the beginning of our end step, we create a tapped Power Stone token, and then for six, we can draw a card and put a one-one counter on it. Got a Burnished Heart Hollow, Soul Guide Lantern. Whoops. A cloud key, which I enjoy the cloud key. Cloud key is awesome. So as it enters the battlefield, we choose artifact, creature, enchantment, or instant or sorcery, and then spells of the chosen type cost one less to cast. Then we got Jetfire, Ingenious Scientist. So he's a 3-4 flyer for four and one blue, and we can remove one or more 1-1 one, one counters from among artifacts we control, and a target player adds that much colorless mana. This ca uh, mana can't be spent to cast non-artifact spells. So then we get converts into Jetfire Air Guardian, and then he's a creature as long as it's your turn. And then for three mana, we uh, convert him and then adapt three, and we'll put, which will put uh, three 1-1 one, one counters on it, provided it has no 1-1 one, one counters on it. Pretty cool. And then we got our Hollow Battlefield Forge. So we can tap it to uh, full art two. We can tap it to add colorless or tap it to add red or white, but if we do, we take one damage. Very pretty. We got a Power Stone uh, and Laser Beak token. And our last collector's box for our collector's pack for today. Hopefully, we get maybe a serialized card. Kind of hoping for it, but we'll see. So we've got Power Stone Fracture, Machine Over Matter, Blitz Tomaton, Boulder Branch Golem, Iron Craw C Crusher, Forging the Anchor, a Planes. Got Steel Seraph, so we can cast it for prototype of one and two white. As a three three or for six as a five four. It's got flying and at the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control gains your choice of flying, vigilance, or lifelink till end of turn. There's a second one, <laughs> except it's full art. Got a Blast Burnus Hellkite. It's got artifact offering, flying, double strike, and creatures your opponents have uh, creatures attacking your opponents have double strike. I see. Pretty cool. Then we got a Hollow Soul Guide Lantern, Liquid Metal Coating, Maze Mind Tome. So if we can tap it to put a page counter on it and scry one, pay two and tap it to put a page counter on it and draw a card. But if there are four or more page counters on it, we exile it. And if we do, we gain four life. Then we've got Star Scream and Power Hungry. So for three and black, we get a 2 3 flyer. And whenever we draw a card, if you're the monarch, target opponent loses two life. And then whenever one or more cre uh, creatures deal combat damage to you, you convert Starscream. We can cast him converted for two and one black. And then we, uh, he is a, got Living Metal, so he's a vehicle, uh, creature as long as it's your turn. He's got Flying, Menace, and Haste. And whenever he deals combat damage to a player, if there is no monarch, that player becomes the monarch. And then whenever you become the monarch, star, uh, you convert Starscream. And monarch is super fun, so that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Then we got a Phyrexian Processor. So as it enters the battlefield, we can pay any amount of life 
and we can pay four and tap it to create an XX black Phyrexian minion creature token where X is the life paid as Phyrexian processor enters the battlefield. Then we've got a Power Stone and Ravage token. Very nice. And that is all of our stuff. We got some pretty cool stuff there. Um, we got one of the one of the meld cards got Mishra, but none of the, not enough to actually meld a, a pair of cards just yet. But you know that's the way it is sometimes. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And um, as always, follow me on my socials at Twisting Tabletop Games on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.